Hey guys, so in this video I'll be uh, showing you how you can add a second uh, hard drive uh, to your computer. Uh, the one I have here which I built uh, not long ago, I put in one 250GB SSD and uh, I'll be adding another of the same type which is the uh, the EVO there that you can see, the Samsung 860 EVO, uh, another 250 SSD. So I'll uh, Unplug my computer, I'll uh, flip it over to the back side of it so we can uh, access the, uh, where the one is and we'll get started. Okay, so here's the back of our uh, our um, computer. I'm going to be removing the, the cover here. So depending on the case that you have, you have to do that. So I'll take my two screws here on the back cover. <clears throat> so there is our uh, the, the original one installed. I'm gonna be adding uh, another one like that, of course. Uh, you will need a SATA cable as well as mounting hardware for it. So depending on what you have, uh, you know, make sure you have all that stuff. Uh, since we have already uh, one installed, we're gonna be using the the other cable that goes with it uh, for power. So I'll just cut that zip tie over so I can mount the other one here. So I'll be mounting the new one right in this spot right here I get depending on what what you're installing whether it's this one or the two and a half inch that goes to the bottom uh, you, you might need to uh, rerun some wires <clears throat> our set of cable here will go uh, from the one side I uh, should be able to uh, fit it through the side here and onto the motherboard but anyways let me uh, remove this one here let me remove the uh, the zip tie so I can gain access to the back here and we'll uh, mount it on Okay, so I got my panel off here, as you can see, I did a, a, did a zip tie there, and I placed uh, the new drive, which is this one, so I like did the, the original one, and as I mentioned, I'll be using uh, the piggyback um, power connector for it, so that will go right there, and I'll grab my set of cable, plug it to the other side of it, fit it through there, and, um, and onto the motherboard, so that's how you can do that one. This one actually even has a third slot if I want to add another uh, SSD if I really wanted to. Uh, but that being those two 250s uh, should work. So now I will go and connect that one to it. I can get it to line up properly. So there's that one. That one's on there. I'll grab my SATA cable. connect the one end to it. I guess at this point it's not gonna matter which one I use, which end. So cover. There's our set of cable that goes to the motherboard. So I'll feed this one uh, through here, through the uh, opening there to, for the motherboard. I'll mount this back on. I uh, will flip it over and I'll show you where I'll be connecting it uh, to the motherboard. Okay, <clears throat> so this is um, the inside of my case now, where I'll uh, show you where to connect it. Uh, so my first uh, hard drive is up here on my SATA 1. I'll use my SATA 2 for my second one. So I fed my wire through the bottom there. I'm just going to go over and uh, connect it to the one slot. So there's uh, the second one. That's where that is going to sit. Uh, so now that I got that plugged in, I'll uh, go to the back, uh, redo my panels there, uh, make sure my wires are secured in place, and then I'll plug everything back in, and we'll boot it up, and uh, we'll set it up. Okay, so there I got uh, all my cables uh, plugged in, uh, set that to where I want them so they're not going to get pinched or, push or pushed or pulled anywhere. So now I'll put my cover back on before we uh, go and start plugging things in and then make sure everything will work the way it should so always make sure you're doing that so you don't uh, have too much things going on and nothing will fit to where you want it all right so I got the hard drive in there now uh, everything's up and running as it should and I'll show you my two hard drives now. So I've got the uh, 
that one there, which is my C, which is the one I originally installed in it. Uh, and now my SSD2, which is the one we just installed. Uh, if you want to learn how to um, set it up properly after you install it, uh, I'll link uh, description or I'll put post the link in the des description down below, and you can uh, learn how to do it because I didn't know how to uh, do it either. So, anyways, I'll put uh, post everything there, uh, and that's how you install a new or another hard drive onto your computer. Any uh, questions, uh, comments? Let me know. Thanks for watching.